previously. Technique versus technique, raw power versus raw power, a clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without a question, no doubt, absolutely, the most legendary, amazing, improbable history making bout of all time. And so we go. Hello, friends, my name's Renee, and welcome back to Paper Mario! Last time we left off, there seemed to be a ghost in our new champion room, because we are the champions of the Glitz Pit! Sorry, I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's we blow these presents away. There's just, this carpet is way too damn plush for my liking. I like how I got the little vanity here. Let's take a little nap. Ah, uh, yes, please. I should have took a nap before I saved, but whatever. Ow, I, s I hurt my knee. All right, can I just jump up here? No, I don't want to take a rest. I want to jump on the bed. How do I get up there? Oh, I see. Um, I need dark. I'm an idiot. Okay. I keep forgetting to press the button. I'm just like, he's just gonna make his way over there, right? Okay. Um. Do I have to switch to flurry? There we go. Isn't this the air duct? Where does it lead? I don't know. But I kind of want you and Yoshi with me. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Well, that's just. Per um, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yep, as long as I get that baby working for me, this old body ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First I let that King K agent walk in on me when I was with that. And now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear them. Yep, just like I did in the meadows. Just like I did at Prince Nurse the first time. Boy, it's Trevor, so he's behind the missing fighters. Better lock this room up with a tighter than a peanut butter, uh, tighter than a peanut butter jaw to squirrel conviction. And I'll just go ahead and hide the paper relating to that in the desk drawer. There we go. You know what, though? Since I'm thinking aloud out here, good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rock Cock lost to Gonzalez. This new champ might have to disappear pretty soon for my sake. I think he's got. Let's check out that desk drawer of his. I agree. Can I? Thank you. Sharpies. Whoa, Mingo, I bet that's the paper old grubber here. Check it out, Mario. Yeah, a machine under the ring using a crystal star? These are the blueprints. I don't know what the rest of this nerd talks of, but I think the crystal star powers it. This paper's right, and the machine could suck the power out of people. Yuck. Oh, crud. You think that King K and Bandy Andy got all drained or something? Hello. Great, Gallop and Goldbits. How in tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slam me and call me Sassafras. You stared at my secret paper, too. Shut up. You made me sick. Why did you hang King K and Bandy Andy, huh? Whoa, Nelly, this ain't good. Excuse me. Where the hell do you think you're going? After him, Gonzalez. Is that an ashtray? That's an ashtray. Yo. Hey. Mr. Grabber? No, I haven't seen him. Duck a duck. Mr. 
Mr. Gravel? Yeah, actually, we, he had it through here a minute ago. He was wigging. Wigging. Wigging? Wigging out? Wigging out. Wigga, wigga, wigga. I know I need to go up there, but I want to look around a little bit. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. I gotta say, y'all are a couple of slack jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now you know my big secret. I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. What the fuck is going on? Oh shit. Uh. <sighs> oh fuck. Gonzalez, <laughs> up there. That's the crystal star, right? <laughs> How do you like my machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been stuck in power from fighters with this baby. Slurp! You know, Tootin? And you know why? Because it keeps my bod forever young, son. You're such a scumbag. You're gonna pay for using a crystal star like that. Oh, just set your traps now. We use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. Hurger muscle up! Are you okay? Oh shit, you're big. Oh shit, you're huge. Macho Grover. Yow, Grover beefed up. How we? I'm gonna smush you guys into a guacamole and snack on your energy too. Oh fuck. This is not good at all. Macho. I'm a powerhouse now, you passionate little pieces of prairie piffle. So long as I have this here machine, my bot will be rough and tough and ultra buff. That's Rock Gonzalez. I'm ready to this dude and spit him out. Are you? Can you actually do that? Like. You can. I didn't think you could do that. Um. Nah, I'm gonna say that for Sweet Treat. Ready to fog rolled in. Oh yeah, keep it at spice. You know I love a good tussle, Gonzalez. Keep it scrapping, so of course they're gonna do you much good in the end. Oh shit. Hmm. Fuck off. Oh man. Eh, you missed. Dodge it. Seven attacks will automatically be dodged. Oh, fuck. Ha! Fuck you. Too shabby, Gonzalez. You got showmanship and that's gold in this biz. But this year, battle's just getting started. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rump kicking moves that they had to make some illegal. Oh shit. Oh fuck.
Ah, fuck. I'll take it. Oh shit. Okay. And the fog rolled in. <sighs> Go away. Fit a shit, Gonzalez. Ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in combat sports, son. Let me tell you something. The fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. Is it now? I don't believe that. I do believe I am too good at this game for you. I do believe you're dead. Yarg. Hell yeah. No, how'd this happen? How could a perfect bot like mine lose to such a chug? Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Erg. What's your champion? No, I mean, Mario, please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubba. Jolene, I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about the arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He did anything for me. Our family was always poor, but he became a fighter here to support all of us. They suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired as a manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for cues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubba transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Aha! So our ex-buddy was... Correct, it was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba, I want answers, right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Er, Prince Mush. He he discovered the secret of my power sucking machine. I had him er, disappear. Any which way you look at it, it, he ain't around these parts no more. No, I suspect as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. Well, I thought she was kind of mean, but it turns out she was just worried for her brother. Wow, check it out, Gonzalez, the Crystal Star. Whoa. Whoa, is this, am I back in the glitz bit? Push! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I, I was just, there, there, Mush, it's okay. It's all over, finally. 
Is that what crystal stars can do? Oh, Mario. Mario, the crystal star is yours. Woo! Whoa, are you sure it's okay if we just take it? It's better that you have it so that nothing like this will ever happen again. It's all you can tell us. Stop it, dab it, dude. Okay, we have it at the Crystal Star. Star power is now four. Mario learned the special move Power Lift. End of chapter. <coughs> On to Peach and Bowser. Let's fill seeming underside was a dark, dangerous place, seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and myst mystical items possess? Save all game progress up to this point? Yes, please. Saving. Do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. Your progress was saved. Peachy Peach. Peach Peach. <coughs> Beldum. Tell me what good are you? You still haven't taken care of the Mario character. Oh yeah, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that the Exons must open the door first, do you not? <laughs> Well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> That's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. Oh, no. Officially bored. This awful accident. Things haven't been. X things haven't been back to ask about the map. I wonder if it's it isn't safe. Oh my! That must be tech again. Hmm. Don't bother. All right, tech. What would you like now? Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Zogrodis is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered into my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about the issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You'll mean I'll be disguised. I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Alright, fine, I guess. So, what do you want me to go ask this Grotus? I will tell you. What in the world is Tech thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. Oh, is that the elevator he wanted me to go in? I thought you said one floor up. Please wait just a moment. There are currently soldiers in the vicinity. Huh? Now, Princess Peach. 
It's the room with the green lamp. Very nearly, we will disembark the elevator. This one? Hello? Please change here quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight, and it kind of smells a bit. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. I bet I look perfect. You're also a lot shorter. Hello, fellow guard. Hey, slacker. What part of do not leave your post that you understand, huh? Hmm? What, come again? Oh, you're on your break? We'll fight and carry on. I do not want to go this way yet. That is Grotus's room. I want to go this way. What? What? What is it? If you have something to say, then don't speak. Nothing to say, don't speak to me. Busy. See, I've even got a busy X not clipboard here, and it says, do not disturb. That open chat. Must be in the wrong place. Hmm? You smell that, dude? What a weird smell. You smell nice. That's just wrong, dude. It's a good thing I didn't take a shower. Back to Grotus's then. So what is it? Speak. Oh, uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan on doing with her going forward? Mm, something is wrong with your voice, excellent. Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. I'm all about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why keep her... Why in the world are we keeping her there anyway? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure that is all I require of you. We excel see that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world. Legendary treasure. What are you blathering about right now? Mm, something is odd about you. Mm. No, nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, whatever. Please excuse me. Uh, that was just unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world, talk about creepy. Wonder if that has anything to do with collecting the crystal stars. Off with this thing. Yeah, good old pink dress, my favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? Better get back quickly. Terrible machine, so your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are mainly many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is it so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world, and what's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. Let's at least inform Mario about this awful plan of world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. 
I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have a busy day. Had had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. <clears throat> Save all game progress, yes. Bowser time? Don't don't go. How are you here? You were just in the glitz pit. But that thing is humongous. Everybody hide! Now save yourselves. <laughs> Stupid cheating party. Who would have thought that fool would be in Glitzville? Did you say something your rudeness? Uh no, nothing at all. As far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those are some punies. One of them should know about the crystal star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and get the info we need. <laughs> you're scary, Mr. Giant Bad Breath Monster. Don't worry, pretending your big brother's here. We'll get through this. Uh, yikes, this guy is big and bad. He's large and in charge. Can I burn your bush here? No. Hey, flee! Be gone! One of them, aren't you? One of the evil doers. You are our crystal star. Ah, see, I knew it. This ugly thing lives with the crystal star. It's jealous. How rude! Ugly thing, how dare you, you wretched crone? I'm no great puny elder. Eep, my heart, don't start on me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. You're both too old, heart. <laughs> yes, sir, Foster. You look like you were just dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag thing, where's the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Um, Hag thing, honestly. In any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. Uh, what? That's right, you rude thing. They gave it to a mustachioed man named Mardio. He said he was collecting legendary treasures to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, it was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Mario. I would have thought Princess Peach's name is Princess Peach. But your senileality is beside the point, and princess and treasures must have connect be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princess, this is be never end. That jackal, both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me. To me! If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all, I swear it. Hold on. <sighs> All right. Now you must leave. Yes. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Gonzalez, I want to tell you, Rock Hawk isn't going to fight dirty no more. I'm going to hit with the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. I'm never, ever going to lose again. Remember, when life rocks, you rock back. Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I ever saw and met, and if you're going to need it, I got your back. Me, I'm thinking I'm going to chill here to prove my skills. King K is back, baby. And now all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grub is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the glitz pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they're absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Another crystal star. That's three, right? 
We better roll back to Rogueport, don't you think? You've never been to Rogueport. What do you mean, back to Rogueport? <laughs> Progress is saved. All right. Wait. The lady that's in the lobby that's like, hey, you have to be champion for me to like you. Over here. This chick. Well, hello there, you savage, chilly son of a man. You're fabulous, dear. Pardon me? You quit being the champion? Whatever for? What a shame. I'm afraid I'll have no need for you anymore. Soon I'll find myself a new champion. Don't you worry. Toodaloo. Well, what the fuck? Well then. Alright, I'm gonna end that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. We're not setting out. <laughs>